Hi everyone, Sam here from The Skin Blog. In this video, I'll be talking to you about Androba seed oil, or crabwood oil. Now, in its cosmetic name is Carapa guinealis seed oil, a unique, potent carry oil delivered specifically from the Brazilian rainforest and used in both cosmetics while containing medicinal properties due to its antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antifungal, and antioxidant properties. I found it works incredibly well for burns, rashes, and bug bites, similar to neem oil, in fact. Other products I've seen it being used in is lamp oil and as a bug repellent, which is due to its potent liminoid content, which is known to be an allergen within essential oils. Androba oil is known for having a shelf life of up to 24 months. It's known for being bright yellow to golden in coloration. Some say it has a bad earthy aroma, while others say sweet. I have some and I find it's a bit in the middle of those two aromas that they mention. So not meant to be used in excessively high concentrations, but definitely something that's noteworthy for cleansing oils or potentially a night oil. It's non-comogenic with a factor of two, making there a minimal chance of clogging of pores, alongside being slightly faster absorbing to a factor of two. The oil yield is 18%, which isn't bad, uh, with an iodine index of 80, making it known for being not heat sensitive. Androba oil's fatty acid profile consists of omega-9 oleic acid at up to 60%, omega-7 palmitic acid at up to 35%, omega-6 linoleic acid at up to 10%, and finally omega-9 satiric acid at up to 5%. Its omega-9 content is unsaturated but very stable, which provides rich skin strengthening and emollient properties, uh, alongside improving water retention. The omega-7 palmitic and omega-9 satiric acids are both incredibly stable and saturated fatty acids. Similar to oleic acid, they provide emollient and skin barrier strengthening cosmetic benefits. There is also a small concentration of omega-6 linoleic acid which helps to regulate your sebum level, improve oily and dry skin types. Liminoids are oxygenated triterpenes, which are well-known compounds contained at high concentrations within oils such as androba and neem oil alongside other essential oils which provide an a long list of benefits such as being antibacterial, antifungal, anti-cancer, anti-tumor, anti-inflammatory, and uh, skin whitening properties. Benzoic acid can also be found and chemically produced and used as a preservative. Currently, there are people researching into its anti-acne and collagen stimulating benefits, but for the moment of this moment in time, this is unproven. Now, I have papers stating that androba oil contains up to 350 milligrams per litre of phenolic acids. The frustrating part is that I can't find out which phenolic acids they're referring to within androba oil. But there is a wide range of suppliers that state that there are tannins or derivatives like it, such as tannic acid, caffeic acid, cinnamic acid, etc. So most likely this is connected. Now, when it comes to cosmetic usage, facial masks, night oils, cleansing gels, hair oils, etc., work very well due to the unique antibacterial properties, etc., within androba oil. When it comes to suppliers, I'd recommend Makes Ingredients for the US, who supply wild-harvested, unrefined androba oil for only £46.88 per litre. For the US, try Bulk Naturals, who supplies the same quality for $64.25 per litre. Thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please subscribe. See you soon.